you guys, it's Tampa Tech. I'm going to show you two easy ways to wall mount your TV onto drywall and also wooden studs. I'm going to be using the snap toggle bolts that are rated for 70 pounds per screw. These snap toggle bolts work for concrete block, metal studs, and also drywall. I'm going to be using this wall mount from shopjimmy.com. I'll leave a link to everything I use in the video description below. This is a low profile mount, it has a locking mechanism and it's 23.5 inches in width and the bracket arms are 16 inches in height. This mount is for 32 inch to 65 inch flat screen TVs. Now there's a couple ways to find a stud in a wall. You can use a stud finder, an electronic one or a magnetic one. You can also knock, I'm going to show you the knocking method. If you hear a hollow sound to a solid sound, the solid knock indicates that there's most likely a stud in the wall. So let's go ahead and mark that and see if the stud finder picks it up. And there we go, it found it. So right here, that's the stud. So how this magnetic stud finder works, it finds a drywall nail that's driven into the stud. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mark it right here. There's my stud. And then over here, there's the other stud right here. We're gonna mark that and we're gonna measure it. So from this stud to this stud is 24 inches. And so we have no choice to mount it to the left side of the wall plate. It's gonna be mounted into the wooden stud. The right side of the wall plate, it won't reach the other stud. So I'm gonna be using the snap toggle bolts and going into drywall. The TV is gonna be mounted above the dresser. So I'm gonna measure the height of the dresser. It's 34 inches in height. Measure 34 inches right here. Mark that. Always use a pencil so you can erase your work later. Now the next step is open it up. Let's go ahead and take out the arms. Let's take out the wall plate right here. And we've got the instructions. I'm, uh, I've been a home theater tech for over 10 years, so I'm not going to be using the instructions. Which is a cool feature right here. It has a level built into the mount. So let's see if this universal mount really fits my TV. So I'm going to be using long screws and spacers and the reason why I'm going to be using the long screws and spacers is because uh, my HDMI cables I do not want bent sharply pressed against the wall and I also want cool air coming in in the bottom vents and hot air coming out the top vents and that bring in nice circulation in my back of my TV to keep my TV nice and cool so it never overheat. Let me see if I got my screw that goes fits right there in the mounting hole. Perfect. So you simply pull this to unlock it and then to lock it, you press it against the wall plate. And unlock it again, just pull on the tab. So the hooks right here indicate that this is gonna go on top of the wall plate. So I'm gonna put my screw in right here on the top hole. I'm using a washer too. And the spacer. And you should have about a half inch protruding out from the spacer. Any longer, you can damage the inside of your TV. I'm going to hand screw it in using a Phillips screwdriver. So. so now I'm going to measure the top of the hooks to the bottom of the TV. It looks like 19 inches. So it's, my TV is going to be mounted above my dresser, which is 34 inches in height, and right here. So the top of the wall plate is going to be right here. I'm going to mark that. 19 inches is going to be the bottom of the TV. Mark that. About four inches above where the dresser is going to be. So if I put up my wall plate right here, my left side of the wall plate is going to be mounted into a wooden stud all into the last hole. And this wooden stud is out of reach of my wall plate. So I'm going to be mounting it into drywall using the snap toggle bolt. I use my level as well as this level. I already marked where I wanted the top of the wall plate. I want to line up this stud to the left side of the wall plate hole. I want to make sure the bubble is in the middle between the lines on the level. And let's go ahead and circle the hole. And let's do the same to the right side of this mounting hole. Circle the inside. Now I'm going to be using a 332 drill bit to pilot the hole in the wooden stud. By pre-drilling the hole, it helps you secure the screw into the stud. So the stud is right here. Let's go ahead and drill it. And if you don't feel resistance, that means you missed the stud. You should 
Hear it. Now we're going to be using the snap toggle bolt. It's going to go into drywall. And you can use the snap toggle bolt on both sides. It'll be perfectly safe. I've done it plenty of times on my 52 inch LCD TV. And I'm going to be using a drill bit that's a half inch. So you want to make sure your drill bit is the same width as the snap toggle bolt. Anytime you use a drill bit and you drill into a drywall, you've got to be careful because you can drill into plumbing or electrical. So check on the other side of the wall, make sure there's no shower, make sure there's no plumbing like a sink and no circuit breaker. There's the circles I drew. Nice. I'm going to go slow. Perfect. Let's go ahead and put in the snap toggle bolt. You just slide it in right here and then you jiggle it so it's flat and it opens up. Once you see the hole and it's opened, you want to make sure the hole is facing you. So when you put the screw in, it's going to go in nice and even. You want to take the zipper right here and you want to push it forward just like this. All right, and then you want to wiggle that off. Let's go ahead and put the other one in right here. Just slide it in. Let it open up. Make sure the hole is facing you and it's nice and even. I'm going to take that zipper and zip it forward. Make sure it's all the way in that hole like that. And then left and right to snap that off. The plastic is just holding up the wing nut basically. And these screws, I'm going to put some washers on them. hand screw it in first. So let's go ahead and tighten up. You want to go nice and slow. You don't want to over tighten and strip out the bolt. The mount includes wood screws and you can use a Phillips screwdriver to screw it in or a 10 millimeter socket. So I'm going to line up these screws right here in the pre-drill holes and it should go in like butter. Now once again we're going to be using the washers from the mount and the wood screws from the mount. And then do this one. You don't want to over tighten either. Now we're going to re-level and I guess I moved it somehow when I was tightening the screw and it's off level. The bubble is not between the lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up the screw and then we're going to adjust it and we're going to adjust it as well and we're going to adjust it on this side as well so I'm going to loosen it up a little bit and it has to go higher so right there is between the lines so I'm going to go ahead and tighten that like that and Perfect. Now right here what you could do is you can stick a wire track cover right here and basically it just sticks onto the wall using 3M tape and you could paint it the same color as your wall. The camouflage is pretty nicely. But if you want to drop the wires into your wall, use a drywall knife or a circular saw and you right below the mount, you want to cut a, hole, a small hole and drop the HDMI cables right in that hole and it should go straight to the bottom of the wall unless there is like a fire block or installation, you're going to have a hard time. Now at this time, I'm going to go ahead and put in my cables. Now just to prove it to you that the snap toggle bolts are safe and secure into the drywall, I'm going to grab this side of the wall plate where the snap toggle bolts are into the drywall and I'm going to hang off of it. Let's go ahead and mount the TV. Now it's nice and secure. and you can slide it left and right to center it. So behind the TV, you can see the hooks on the arm brackets sit right there on top of the wall mount plate. And you look down here and there's the HDMI cables right here. And it looks like we definitely needed that spacers that we put on the arm brackets because without that, it would have been damaging the HDMI cables or worse, might have snapped the HDMI port on the TV. 
All right, so right here I got a wire cover track and you just basically slip in the wires right here in the slit and then you pull the tape and it sticks to the wall. And when you use a level, make sure it's going to be nice and even when you put it on. And the bubble is right between the lines right here. It's good. And just press it. And the dresser is going to be right about here. And from this point, all you have to do is put the wires right in here. And it's really easy to do. So this is the final outcome right here. Here's the dresser. Let's turn on the TV. Put the level on. It's nice and straight and even and level. That's good. Now, if you know anyone that may be interested in this video and it may help them out, go ahead and click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G Plus or their email. And if you want more tech reviews coming your way like this, subscribe to Tampa Tech. And if this video was informative, give me a thumbs up.